Hello everyone and welcome to Nocturnal Horrors. My name is Sean Mazeroff and today we're going to do a two on two. That's two minutes on a Tuesday where I discuss anything I want to that is horror related. Get ready for some fast talking and if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much. The Vast of Night from Andrew Patterson is about two small town radio obsessed teens who discover a strange frequency over the airwaves. There's the radio DJ Everett who is absolute gold in his confident, nerdy tech vibe. The opening has a real rhythm to it, in the camera movements, the beat of the snappy dialogue, and the sense you're in an episode of The Twilight Zone that revolves around the Hoosiers basketball team. It feels right in that sci-fi sort of way without anything too sci-fi happening. I love the way the dialogue plays with the times and the space agey advancement of technology. It's like the future of Elon Musk trying to colonize Mars and driving Teslas on the red planet. That's the type of vibe this movie brings. And then something happens over the radio waves during a brilliant piece of acting in like a 10 minute one shot that shows Sierra McCormick's range. The yearning love for the DJ is priceless. There's excitement here, that small town nothingness but a basketball game and all of a sudden there's something otherworldly going on for our characters. It's a film of sequences almost split up with commercials. 18 minutes of following Everett, 10 to 15 minutes of following Faye, the sounds that occur over the switchboard, then you get 10 minutes of another story and so on. And that's when the plot points hit harder and we go in on a treasure hunt. And the confidence from the director to stay on these pseudo monologues because he knows the words are powerful. Just the words. It's like being at a campfire listening to ghost stories. It's like Pawnee Pool where we get info just through the radio waves and nothing else and that's all we need. Area 51, X-Files, Roswell, Close Encounters, Bob Lazar, The Twilight Zone, J.J. Abrams, Lens Flares. If you like any of that shit, check out The Vast of Night. Watch the difference between Faye doing her work in a one-shot versus Everett in his element at the radio station with quick cuts everywhere. It's such a lovely contrast that will change as it goes. These are visual and editing cues that link these two characters the same way they get linked together by the tape recorder. This is an homage to aliens, to people who want to believe. This film is for those of us who look into the sky and see worlds upon worlds of endless possibilities. This film is a beautiful love letter.